Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Trick Arrows here. Welcome back to the channel for another LEGO game video. On today's video, we are going to be talking about whether LEGO Indiana Jones 3 could be the next LEGO game after LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. If you're finding me for the first time, I do videos surrounding the LEGO games, DC Comics games, Marvel games, and the Harry Potter games as well. So if you like any of those, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fantastic content in the future. Back to the main topic of today's video is whether we think that LEGO Indiana Jones 3 could be the next game released by TT Games. So I'm going to share some reasons why I'm going to think that's the case and I'm also going to share some reasons why I don't think that's the case as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think. Now, if we could get this video to 10 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. So firstly, let's talk about the reasons that I do think that LEGO Indiana Jones 3 could be the next LEGO game. Number one, there is a new Indiana Jones film coming out this year. It's meant to come out on the 29th of July, 2022. So what better way to promote the film than to release a LEGO game alongside of it that's probably the main reason that you could think that you know we could get an indiana jones game and i would say this is probably tt games last opportunity to you know have a crack at indiana jones the last time that we had an indiana jones game was back in 2009 following the release of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. LEGO Indiana Jones 2 is certainly nowhere near the quality of LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Um, but it would be good for TT Games to be able to redeem themselves and, you know, end the franchise on a high. That So those are probably my main reasons that, you know, I think, lego indiana jones 3 is a possibility and this would allow them to cover all five films and make sure that they include you know the scene in the cave from the first film unlike lego indiana jones 2 but that's a conversation for another video moving on to the reasons why i don't think that you know indiana jones will be the next lego game and that is tt games generally tries to rotate around all the different franchises so We've obviously had Star Wars, um, the DC Comics games, as well as some Disney, um, you know, franchises as well. So if we go back to 2008 or 2007, we had the release of the uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. They're moving on to Indiana Jones uh, 1, Lego Batman 1, Lego Rock Band, which not too many people give a fuss about. I'm sorry if you do any of you do like that game. Um, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4, uh, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Then we had Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7, which coincided with the release of that final film as well. Uh, then we moved into Lego Batman 2, uh, which one of my personal favorites followed by Lego Lord of the Rings. Then we had to wait a little bit longer for 2013 to get Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Then we had in 2014, the Lego Movie, Lego The Hobbit, and Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. 2015 saw the release of Jurassic World and Lego Dimensions. 2016 saw the release of uh, Lego Marvel's Avengers following the first two Avengers films and Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens to sort of tie into the release of that film even though it was six months later than the release of Force Awakens. Uh, then we had, you know, some Lego Dimensions uh, packs in terms of Ghostbusters, uh, Fantastic Beasts, the Lego Batman movie. Then we had Lego in Ninjago, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, The Incredibles, Lego DC Super Villains, and the last game that was released was the Lego Movie 2, which is not something that I ever played and not something that I ever plan on playing, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, so as we can see from the release history, you know, they do like to rotate through 
The last time we had a LEGO DC uh, video game was back in 2018 with Super Villains. So they may want to go into the DC franchise. They may want to go back to Marvel because the last Marvel game that they released was back in 2017. So, you know, there's a few options there. One thing that I think um, could affect, you know, the Lego games going forward is Warner Brothers merger with Discovery. So Discovery has bought Warner Brothers off AT&T. So when Discovery takes over, that could affect the titles that TT Games could be allowed to work on. They may want to try and focus a lot more on the Warner Brothers properties. So whether they go back to, let's say, a Fantastic Beasts or whether they go back to DC, as I mentioned a fraction earlier in this video, it's it's a bit of a, a wait and see. But, you know, I think that we're just really hungry for some more Lego games, you know. Um, I don't know many people who played the Lego Movie 2 video game. Um, I never saw that film. I never played the first Lego Movie uh, video game. So the last Lego game that I properly played was Lego DC Super Villains, and that was back in 2018. It's 2022 now, so, you know, it's a long time between drinks. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Could we get a Lego Indiana Jones 3 to to cover the complete saga, the complete adventure of Indiana Jones across all five movies, or are we going to get something different from TT Games? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked today's video, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers.